when Shirley and Caesar Williams, better known by her stage name Shirley Caesar, signed a record contract with Federal Records in 1951. At the young age of 12, she began her musical career. Some of her most well-known hits are Hold My Mule and Sunrise. No charge over her, Jesus I Love Calling Your Name. In addition to her amazing 11 Grammy Awards, 15 Dove Awards, and 14 Stellar Awards during the course of her distinguished seven-decade career, she has been dubbed the First Lady of Gospel Music and the Queen of Gospel Music, along with contributing to more than 16 compilations, three gospel albums, and more than 40 albums, Shirley Caesar. Musicals I Would Like to Sing Soundcan records that 2.2 million albums have been sold since 1991, including Mama and Born to Sing Mama. Beyond the realm of music, Shirley's impact can be seen in her iconic performances at the White House for President of the United States and live from Disney World Night of Joy the Gospel, according to VH1. Bush, George additionally, in 2017, she received recognition from the U.S. Treasury Department for her perceptive statement on the development of gospel music. Shirley Caesar added the coveted Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award from the Recording Academy to her already impressive list of honors, which also included the SCAC Lifetime Achievement Award and the Rap City and Rhythm Award from the National Museum of African American History. She was rewarded with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2016 for her significant contributions to gospel music, which demonstrated her long-lasting influence on the field, as well as her induction into the Gospel Music Hall of Fame. Despite her success in music, as the senior pastor at Mount Calvary Word Faith, Shirley Caesar is a pastor as well. The Rollin, North Carolina church born on October 13, 1938 in Durham, North Carolina, Shirley is thought to have a $9 million net worth. Jim Caesar, a well-known local gospel singer, unexpectedly died when Shirley was just seven years old. Shirley Ann Caesar was the 10th child out of her 13 siblings, all of whom have since passed away. Caesar, who had a partially crippled leg, had a special bond with Shirley, who took care of her until her death in 1989. Certainly, Caesar tied the knot with Bishop Harold I. Williams in June 1983, when they served as co-pastors of the 1,500-member Mount Calvary Word of Faith Church in Raleigh. Despite the fact that she is childless by birth, she lived in North Carolina until Harold's death on July 4, 2014. As a proud member of Delta Sigma, Shirley has accepted her duty as stepmother to her husband's two kids. Say, for sure, is Theta Sorority. Caesar says that a big part of her desire to devote so much of herself was influenced by her mother. Her annual Outreach Ministries Conference, which offers vital resources like food, clothing, shelter, and financial aid, along with opening opportunities, is one of the reasons she continues to be active in recording and performing nationwide. She has also reduced her preaching duties and appointed an executive pastor to deliver weekly sermons. The proceeds from her concert go toward outreach ministries, which helps those in need. Caesar's musical journey started by entertaining family and friends as a baby Shirley Caesar across the Carolinas. She frequently received invitations to showcase her talent, juggling her burgeoning singing career with school commitments. She primarily performed on weekends. In 1958, at the age of 19, she made her debut, Known for her charitable contributions, the store was named after her. Made a critical decision by asking Albertina Walker to join the Caravans, a well-known gospel group of the day that was struck by Shirley's incredible voice during a solo performance. Shirley decided to forgo her schooling in order to take advantage of this chance while living with the Caravans because Walker warmly welcomed her into the community. Shirley enjoyed working with well-known artists such as after eight years with the Caravans, Albertina Walker decided to leave and pursue a solo career after receiving a solo recording offer from Hob Records. Her debut LP, I'll Go, features classics like Oh Peter and is available on the label. She also achieved notable success with hits like Sweeping Through the City and No Coward Soldier. Don't be frightened and select you this day. She demonstrated her singing abilities with the Institutional Radio Choir. She went on to record more songs with them, such as Satan, We're Going to Destroy Your Dominion, and God's Not Dead, He's Still Alive. In 1971, Shirley Caesar won her first Grammy Award for the recording of Don't Drive Your Mama Away, cementing her place in music history. In spite of these accomplishments, she recorded Put Your Hand in the Man's Hand in 1975, and went on to record No Charge, which brought her first gold record. In 1975, Shirley decided against renewing her contract with Hob Records because she believed that her music was only reaching a small audience. Instead, she made a big step by aligning herself with 
Since Shirley was the first female artist to record for the secular record label Roadshow Records, the album's producer chose the title First Lady to honor her groundbreaking role. Despite the album's gospel-themed lyrics, some in the gospel community felt that it was too mainstream. The song Faded Rose became a timeless classic by Sisley Caesar despite its low sales. The title First Lady gained popularity in the gospel industry and was undoubtedly introduced as the First Lady of Gospel Music, a title that has eventually become interchangeable with her legacy. When her second and last album, Roadshow from the Heart, was released in 1978, it was supposed to stray from traditional gospel sound in an attempt to bring her back to her gospel roots, and as a result, it suffered a similar fate. Undoubtedly, in 1980, Roots got a record deal with Word Records, where she would go on to win more Grammy Awards. Among her biggest successes were God's Got It All in Control and Hold My Mule, which later became a popular Thanksgiving-themed meme titled You Name It, He's Working It Out For You Jesus I Love Calling Your Name, and You're Next In Line For A Miracle Online. In the realm of gospel music, Shirley Caesar cemented her status. Her success can be attributed in large part to Albertina Walker, whom she considers to be her mentor and the queen of gospel music from 1981 to 1995, after she made prominent performances on television series such as The Bobby Jones Gospel Show and became a sought-after guest artist. Black Gospel Album of the Year for several albums went to Caesar, who won seven Dove Awards there. For her tracks, he's working it out for you, Hold My Mule and two Black Gospel Song of the Year Awards. She engaged in partnerships with well-known artists, including Patti Lee, displaying her adaptability and impact in the industry with Whitney Houston and Kirk Franklin. With the National Endowment for the Arts 1999 National Heritage Fellowship, Shirley Caesar was granted. The greatest award given in the U.S. for work in folk and traditional arts her acceptance into the North Carolina Music Hall of Fame in 2010 served as more recognition for her distinguished career. In her acting career, Shirley Caesar starred with well-known actors in movies such as Why Do Fools Fall in Love 1998 and Fighting Temptations 2003. She has been on television in episodes of The Good News in 1998 and 2014, as well as in guest spots on The Parkers, alongside celebrities like Beyonce and Cuba Gooding Jr. The 1972 Shirley album Get Up My Brother featured a song called Teach Me Master, which Dutch producer Baker Matt sampled for the single Teach Me reaching number 22. She reaffirmed her ongoing influence and relevancy in the genre by topping the Gospel Billboard chart in the UK Singles Chart in 2016 after her CD release. Together with Ariana Franklin, Shirley Caesar had the privilege of entertaining President Barack Obama and Michelle Obama in the White House in 2015. Years 2001 after listing their 9,000-square-foot mansion for $1.55 million in July 2021, Shirley Caesar and her husband Harold paid $1.5 million for it. When the home Star Wars-themed movie theater was revealed to onlookers, they were astounded. In March 2022, Shirley Caesar sold the property for $1.5 million no matter what. Triumph in music after initially enrolling at North Carolina State College in 1956 to study business before leaving to pursue music, Shirley eventually achieved her long-held goal of finishing her education. She returned to academia and graduated with honors from Shaw University in 1984, earning a Bachelor of Science degree in Business Administration. She also continued her education by attending Duke University's Divinity School and received honorary doctorates from Southeastern University and Shaw University. Asked what she would still like to do, Shirley Caesar replies, I would like to do more acting, that's all that we've done. Her influence on gospel music and her contributions to the genre have garnered her significant acclaim and admiration both inside and outside the gospel music community. I learned about Shirley Caesar in this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe so you can continue to see more of our fantastic music material. Share this video with your friends.